Hello there people, this is Christian and I'm playing around with Fusion 360 again. Right now I'm looking at the image, this is not Fusion 360, you get confused. Uh, this is the end product I want to achieve or what I achieved earlier. I have a original ID idea that I have changed the workflow a bit because I have some problems with this. Uh, the thing comes from a question you know, from the Facebook group on how to make this thing here. You can see the opening here is a bit smaller than one I'm able to do here. There are some ways to play around with this. So this is going to be workflow. Follow along. Have a laugh when it doesn't work. Uh, and play around with it. I give no guarantees but it will work, work for you. And here's a model I made earlier. You can see the opening is a bit bigger. Uh, we can have a check on sleep analysis. Yes, we have a nice shape here. We can also look at the curvature. We can see there are some problems up here, but not really working. Uh, but this is a wrap on pot. Uh, space mouse to move things around here. And we have a look. We should be able to see the light. Yes, we can see the light, but it's a small gap. So this is a wrap part around uh, a cone. That's the thing we want to do. And uh, yes, to explain the thought process, uh, uh, and we're looking at this. The idea I got was that this need to be starting with this body, which is basically a slot, and that needs to be wrapped around a cone. Uh, the thing is, we can't wrap or bend things like that in Fusion. Uh, we could bend it around a simple cone with embossed and other things like that, but in this case, it needs to be overlapping, so it is not a, a normal cone, it's a spiral cone, or a spiral cone with a spiral base, I'm going to call it. So, I'm just going to hide this now. I will not do this body, this is just part of a sketch I extruded to show my how I solved to create this body. We're going to start a new design. Uh, we're going to start a new sketch, we're going to create a new component. We're going to be nice to Fusion. Let's call it Wrap. And we've not got a sketch now either. We're going to start with the coil. I'm going to coil. Uh, some of the settings in my menus now is going to be basically correct from the beginning because I've already done this. So Fusion remembers slightly what I chose uh, earlier. So, but I'll explain. Coil, uh, top plane or bottom plane, want to call it, uh, in the middle. Going to make it 150. The size is just too big. That's the only thing that's important here. Um, we need to do some section size. Uh, I'm gonna do that one millimeter. That's the aim of the final body. Oh, sorry. No, 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 no. I didn't want to finish the command. Uh, section wise, gonna be one millimeter. Section position is on the inside. Section is a triangular external, so we get an edge to look at. Uh, the pitch I'm gonna make 0.1.2. The important thing is, of course, that the pitch needs to be larger than the sectional size, or the coil will over coil will be overlapping. And I want one and a half turn or revolutions and 150 minute spiral. You can, of course, spin it the other way around. You have to change the workflow to make it mirror over. Uh, yes, like that. Hit OK. And by this, we are made a coil. And the only reason we can coil because we're going to use it to create the spiral. Because I'm lazy and I want to, do not want to draw spirals. Good. Create a sketch. Uh, I'm going to choose for plane here now that intersects where I have double the body and single, not okay, the plane that's uh, at the ends of the coil. I want to do go this way. So we're going to select uh, this plane. The first thing I'm going to do, create, project include, and include 3D geometry. Because I want, I want to remove the body, it makes it easier to see things. And I'm going to select, make sure I select the outer edge of this coil. And then hit S on the keyboard. I'm going to do some intersections intersection with uh, specific entities and I select the same edge again like that hit OK and open up here so I can hide the body as you can see I now have a spiral I have some points here these two I will not use so I select them and hit delete to remove them this is the point I'm interested in I'm going to have a look at sketch make it easier to see for one and we're going to make a rectangle we're going to do a three point rectangle starting from our point we're going to move outwards, that's going to be one millimeter, and then tab. We're going to make one millimeter, just do it one like that, and just pull it out somewhere here. I'm going to take this and turn it around a bit, so we have one millimeter, that's my planned thickness. I'm going to make a line from the center point, straight up, I don't care about the height of it. 
what I care about. I'm going to take this and pull it up slightly more like that. I'm going to use a horizontal constraint. So this is going to be locked into each other. I'm going to dimension. This is the angle of the cone. So I'm going to make it 20. So of course the cones could be 40, mil uh, 40 degrees as I make 20 on one side. And I'm going to move this up a bit closer before I put the dimension in. Dimension from this point to, yeah, based any point you want. I noticed 5 millimeters is uh, the smallest dimension that is working for me uh, in this workflow. You can play around with this angle and dimension if you want to do a slightly different looking uh, shape. Uh, anything more we need? New. I think we can do a finish sketch. And by that, we have done our sketches, which is only one. It's fully constrained. That's good. And we're going to start with, uh, hit, and I use S on the keyboard the whole time to find commands. I'm too lazy to move around the menus. Menus, S, we're going to do sweep, and the blue one, the solid sweep. The profile, of course, the profile we just had. And the path is going to be our spiral. And uh, nice enough, uh, our profiles are in the middle, so we get two distances here. So what I need to do, because I can't make the whole thing at the same time, because uh, things going to overlap, so I will change. Any distance you want, I'm going to take the top one now, set that to zero, like that. I'm going to hit, oh, let's see here, yeah, I don't, now I don't need anything more. Hit OK. I'm going to hide that body. Going to do sweep again. And I'm going to select that profile, that path again. And now I set another distance, the first distance zero first, the second time I take it lower and set to zero. And by doing that, if I done this correctly, yes, I have two bodies, uh, one for each side. Gonna hide them for now. And uh, while I have the first body, the coil, I don't need it anymore, so let's remove it. I like to remove things when I don't need it anymore. Uh, now, that's our uh, our wrapped body that we're gonna use in, in, in later. Uh, now I need to revolve. I'm gonna do a revolve, a solid revolve. I'm going to use uh, this here. This profile is always selected. I want to run the center axis. And it's always selected to under safety degree. Normally you get a uh, full like this. I don't need that. I only need it to wrap around until it hits the end point of a coil here. And that is 270 degrees or three quarters of 360 degrees. Uh, like that. I only need to do one side. I'm going to use mirror to make the both. But on this, I'm going to make the slot shape. I'm going to hit OK, turn off the sketch, and I'm going to use E for extrude. And I'll take this edge here and give it a 5mm stretch like that. Nicely. And I'm going to go over here to sheet metal. We're going to use the sheet metal trick and flatten this part. So we need to create, convert to sheet metal, click on the flat face here. It's gonna say some here. You can choose anyone. I have already prepared some bin factors down here, which you're gonna change later. But I'm just gonna make steel now, make it easy. Hit OK. I'm gonna go up to the sheet metal rules. We're up here in modify. I'm gonna make sure steel. I'm gonna check here. I want to change the K factor to one. This means uh, that the bending is happening over basically the outside shape of this gonna make be maintained the whole time. There are more things to know about uh, K factor. Some uh, people who know cheat method better can explain it. I'm just making these to make sure that the slot I'm making here is basically the same shape as the one wrapping around. Sorry for the confusing, confusing talking. Uh, enough talking. Let's unfold. Unfold this here. Check in, unfold all bands or just click the band. Hit OK. And we're going to create a sketch on this new flat thing we have here. And I need some projections. I need to project in uh, this point here. Hit OK. Create. Let's see if this works now. Slot center to center slot. So we're going to make a slot like this. And the only thing I'm going to do now, hit escape to stop the slot command. Midpoint between the top line here and uh, this point. And I'm going to make a line from here because I'm going to use. No, sorry. No, no. I need to project. I forgot to pitch one thing. I need to project in this corner too. And I'm going to make the line over here. Because I need to preserve this straight part here. If I remove this part, I can't uh, unfold it later. 
So by doing that, uh, now we need to make a decision. The decision we need to make is if we go back here, is the length from here up to here, like the, the what you call it, or we can look at here, the length from the, the width of the slot, we can call it. So we're going to dimension that. We must make lines, we can use that. I'm going to make that 75. And the next part is I can move this out all the way out until I touch it. If I go over here, uh, I will not get the whole shape with me. So I'm just going to move it something like this halfway out there and be pleased with that for now. Going to finish sketch. I'm going to hit E for extrude and select this profile. And I'm going to pull it the wrong way or the other way around until fusion distance all. But I do not want to cut. I want an intersection. And by doing that, I'm left with, I'm going to turn off the sketch for now. I'm left with this part here, which I'm now going to refold like that. So I'm going to hide this. This sketch here uh, should be the, the part, if you want to extrude this, and you can use that to make the cut out if you want to make the part you wrap around. But we're not done yet. Uh, this has been done now. So I will use, uh, we've done half, we need both sides. We're gonna hit S and type a mirror, mirror. I'm gonna select bodies, this body and the plane. I need to choose this plane here that goes through. Of course, Fusion wants me to join things. I say, no, I want a new body. I hit okay. Wait for Fusion to think for a while. So I have this. Now this doesn't look that pretty. So we're gonna turn on the sketch again, which is not, still is not fully defined. Oh, sorry about that. We can add a dimension in a short while. Now I can simply just pull and release. I can move a sketch and it updates the body. Doesn't don't make it too complex things. Uh, by doing this, oh, sorry, I can try out like how how much overlap do I want? Where do I want it? Uh, this is not a hundred percent what the end product looked like, but this can give you a slight idea. How things gonna end up so yeah I want this something like that that looks good so we're gonna go back and edit this sketch and see if we can dimension uh, this dimension we can do tangent so we can do from here to here under the 65 let's do it on the 65 and finish sketch now we have a fully defined sketch which I like so I'm gonna hide the sketch anyway and we have two bodies now I'm gonna hide one body thing is I'm going to use these bodies, bodies and intersect with the wrap I did earlier but the thing is this body is a bit too thin I want to thicken it out so I'm going to press Q on the keyboard to get up uh, press pull and select inner faces and outer faces and I will add uh, let's add two millimeters if that works yes thank you so I'm adding two millimeters hitting OK and now I have a look at which body I'm interested in. Is this body here? We're gonna go back to the solid. I'm gonna do a combine. The thing I want to do now, now is I want to get rid of the sheet metal function. Sheet metal is good, but they can be limiting in some ways when you do want to do uh, further manipulations. So I'm gonna do a combine and make sure I select the solid body first, and the tool is gonna be the sheet metal, and I make a join new. I want to intersect them. And I hit OK. That's our first part. Gonna hide that for now. Gonna turn on the other sheet metal part. Once again, Q on the keyboard. Select all outer faces. All the big faces, not the edge faces. I'm gonna add two millimeters. Hit OK. Turn on the body we're interested in. Do a combine. Select the normal solid body first. The sheet metal as the tool and intersect. Hit OK. And we're starting to get somewhere. And the final thing you do, I'm going to combine, change it to join, and our two bodies. Hit OK. Have a look at it. And it looks good here. It creates a, I don't, it depends on the dimension I fix. It creates a small face here, uh, which can be confusing for fusion. You want to do fillets and stuff. But sometimes you give it a try, uh, hit the face, and just hit delete on the keyboard. And it gets to move and it heals up so you have a uh, edge that's a bit nicer and you move these small faces that can be problems later and by that we have done wrap out and of course as i said earlier if you want to you can use this sketch to make the flat pattern i want to call it so that's the workflow i used to create this
And we think we can play around. Oh, we can't. Yeah, we can. We can go back in the sketch. If you want to wrap it a bit further around, just make it 107 to see if we can craft fusion. Finish sketch. Yes, it worked. So, this is for workflow. Uh, if mostly 3D printing, I think, or just for the fun of a look of it. So, feel free to use it, uh, explore it, play around with it, and evolve it. Please leave a comment if you find it useful. And see you around. Goodbye. Take care.